guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to throw up a really quick video for you um, for Thanksgiving. This is perfect if you are going to see family and you're going to be eating turkey and stuffing your face. Um, you've got the green and the brown and it's kind of like turkey and green beans. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos from me. Um, but I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and you have safe travels if you are traveling. I myself will be traveling and I'm excited to see my family um, this week. So um, have a safe holiday and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so I already have my eyebrows done with my Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I will list in the box down below. And I'm starting with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot um, eyeshadow primer. And then I am moving in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original. And I'm taking that Buck eyeshadow using my Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And before I use the Sigma F75 Concealer Brush for that paint pot, by the way. Um, and then I'm taking Half Baked and I am running this on the lid using my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. Um, and I'm just making sure to pack that on so that you can really see that gold and that shimmer. And I'm bringing that right up to the crease and then stopping. Um, and then I'm going to take Buck again in the crease and I'm going to be using my Sigma E25 blending brush here in just a second. Right there it is. And I'm going to deepen up the crease with that brush. It's a really, it's a smaller brush so it gets into that crease really well. Um, and then I'm just gonna blend that out up a little bit over, um, sorry about that, that was my phone, up a little bit over the crease. Um, and I'm doing that obviously for both sides. <laughs> and then I am taking Virgin and I'm going to use a Sephora shader brush for that. And I'm highlighting uh, the brow bone and then eventually I will go back in with that and highlight the inner corners. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Liner in black as always, it has the best felt tip ever and it's so black um, and I am making a wing and I'm actually going to shorten that wing once I have that on with my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes um, as you see there I didn't want a very very long wing although looking back on it it probably would have looked really good with a long wing um, but in the moment I was feeling short wing <laughs> and then I went ahead and skipped my foundation and moved right and concealer and moved right on to um, my bronzer and my blush and I am using um, the NARS blush and bronzer duo in Laguna and orgasm sorry for the name <laughs> and I'm using Laguna to carve out my cheekbones and then I'm using this wet and wild bronzer in 739 to get to Brazil and I am bronzing up my entire face with that I did not use a setting powder for my foundation because the Estee Lauder um, double wear foundation that I used which I'll list in the box below it set really nicely on my skin and since I've been sick I didn't feel the need to powder up anymore because I was already kind of having patchy dry spots um, and then I am taking the Sigma F10 powder brush and I am putting on my blush and then I'm using my MAC 187 duo fiber brush and blending out my entire face and then the exciting part, I am using my Becca highlighter in Opal and my Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush and I am highlighting my cheekbones in a C shape. So just at the tops of my cheekbones and then run, running that right above the brow um, with that brush and it just really creates a, a beautiful highlight. I love the Opal shade. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed <laughs> and then I'm running that on the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose and then right in my cupid's bow and along with the bronzer the in the under the lip and the highlighter on the cupid's bow it makes your lips look fuller and then I'm taking my urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil in perversion and lighting my waterline and then I'm using my Estee Lauder uh, eyeshadow palette in Ivy Envy and my Mac 262 flat definer brush and I am putting that green eyeshadow on my bottom lash line and this is the highlight of the entire look um, it just really makes your eyes pop and I'm dragging that down pretty far um, some people are afraid to do that that's okay you can make that as thin or as thick as you want um, that's the beauty of that little that Mac brush that you can control the width of it and then like I had mentioned before I'm going back in with virgin and highlighting the corners of my eyes and then I am going to use my MAC eyelash curler once I'm done blending out that shadow right there. I didn't want such a harsh line, so I used um, my E35 tapered blending brush to do that. And then my MAC eyelash curler, and I'm curling my lashes. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Effect Mascara in black on top and bottom. And then I'm going back in with that Urban Decay pencil and tightening up that waterline. 
and that's what it looks like. You can see the pop of color, kind of neutral on top and the pop of color below. And then I'm using my L'Oreal Color Reach Lip Liner in Beyond Pink and I'm lining my lips and then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Color Reach Lipstick in Ferris Nude. Um, and then eventually I will use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set this look. Um, I have very oily skin so I've found that this setting spray works wonders. Um, so that's that. That's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed and you have a great holiday and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.